Hey guys, just finished my 15 day, three gigabyte free trial of Cricut Wireless. The service worked great, really good if you would like to keep using it for some time. If not, there's plenty of other free trials from various carriers. So I'm about to show you how you can get set up, get your free trial rolling, what you'll need and how the speeds are. Take a look. All right, today we're gonna to take a look at installing the Cricut Network eSIM. So first of all, you do need the Cricut Wireless app. Once you have the app installed, this app is mainly for walking you through how to get set up. So the first thing you're gonna need is the 15 digit EMI number. Now iPhones do have two SIM card slots and therefore two EMI numbers. You can use either one of them, especially if you're going to use the eSIM on slot two. So here I'm putting in my 15 digit number. There's an easy code to press and I'll put that in the show notes and on the screen, how you can get your EMI number. Now there is a little bit of an issue here where they want to get your exact address. So I'm here playing with the idea, like let's see if they actually need my address. So I've turned off my address sharing. I'm gonna go back here and let's see if they're okay with not sharing my address. Nope, they're not. So basically, they want to use GPS to put down your exact billing address and get as close as they can. So here they've got a hold of my exact billing address and now they let me choose between an eSIM and a physical SIM if you want to get something mailed. So today I'm just doing the eSIM. Let's continue through here. Here they're going to ask for you for your name, email and phone and as well as your address which they just got from the GPS. After submitting your details, then they'll send you to a review your order page. Now they've got the order as it was free. It shouldn't be that hard. I'm going to go ahead and click set up eSIM. Now this is going to walk me through provisioning the eSIM inside the app. But additionally, if you want to set up with a QR code, they will send you the QR code in your email. So here they have some instructions about what's about to happen with the provisioning of your eSIM through the application. So these are just some help files that will guide you through. So here they let you go ahead and start the eSIM in installation. Now the Cricut app is handing the provisioning over to the iPhone. And the first thing the iPhone is going to do is check the validity of the eSIM request. So when we click continue here, we're going to see if in fact the request is valid. And then if it is valid, it's gonna let you go ahead and continue and download the eSIM profile onto the device. So after this step is sort of the point of no return, the one-time use code that would be in the QR code after this point can no longer be used because right now we are activating and installing the eSIM and that is a one-time process when it comes to the QR code. And finally, I get a message that we have had success here. So now it's gonna walk through sort of the final steps there. We get a phone number provisioned as well from Cricut, which is what you'd expect. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my secondary. And one important thing about eSIMs is you always wanna give them a descriptive label because you, you can end up having many eSIMs. So here I'm gonna call it Cricut and I'm also gonna give a date when it expires because after it expires, I'm not gonna keep this. And so I'll put a date here. And if I look at it in the future, I'll know that this is one that can be removed as the expiry date here has passed. It doesn't really matter if you only ever have one or two, but once you have more than three or more eSIMs, you definitely want to give them descriptive names. So now I've got my descriptive name. You can set this up as your default line, especially if you plan to keep using this. If it's your default line, that means it'll show up as your contacts. Here I'm getting an SMS, and so I'm not going to keep this number, so I do not want it set up for my iMessage and FaceTime. And then here's what I mainly want to use it for is cellular data. So I want to just have my data on one line and I'm not using this number for people to call me. So I don't need to update any contacts and I'm just going to say, hey, my existing SIM is the one I want to use. 
And that's it. It looks like we're done here. And so now we're back at the application. And here, all I see really is the days remaining on my trial and a phone number. And if we look through some of the stuff in the app, you can see there's not much there. And then we basically have a link here to go to their web page and actually sign up. So if we took a look at this, we can look at some of the plans that they have available. And here we can just scroll through and see their various plans. We see here unlimited at $60 a month, another $55 a month, $40 per month, and five gigabytes at $30 per month. So these are the prices if you do wanna go ahead and continue with your Cricut service. So obviously this trial is to see how you like Cricut. Uh, does it install? Do you have coverage in your area? And how fast is it? So just looking at the installed eSIM here, you can see the basics of what it looks like when your eSIM is installed. Obviously it's gonna look just like a physical SIM. Every once in a while there's some things in carrier services specific to each eSIM's carrier. You can see what they have here. In this case, Cricut just sends you to their web login and their customer service number is 611. So let's go ahead and do a speed test. I'm just pulling up speedtest.com here. Uh, it does detect that the iPhone is Cricut. Now, as you can see, I've got three bars and it's showing LTE. And so let's see how we're doing with our speed test. We're getting us about up to seven megabits per second. Now this is not high 5G speeds. This is pretty much basic, basic speeds here. The network has connected between LTE and 5G. Uh, just at this particular moment, we're, we're just getting the LTE reading. And now we're back down to two bars. So I also like to check out fast.com. Netflix does this one. They're a pretty easy in-browser speed test. You can see a lot lower speeds. Let's take a look at Open Signal. Open Signal's specifically designed for tower testing and mobile network testing. So they're saying pretty much the same thing between the five and seven megabits per second and slower upload speed here. We do get a QR code, as I said, in the email. And if you look at the QR code, you can see gdsb.net is the LPA server. And just to have a quick look at what that means, this is the server that will allow you to download. If we look up that domain name, we see that it's related to T-Mobile. Here's a few of the messages we're getting, one with our phone number, one with something about call defense. Hope that review was useful. And if you do need to get set up with any other carriers, there's plenty of free trials on our website. Have a look for some other free eSIM QR codes. Have a great day.